Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision and today I'm going to show you how to work with Pucker and Bloat tool. So the first thing you want to do is create a shape. As you can see here, we got the, all the shapes. You got the rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse tool, polygon. We're going to experiment with all of those, so let's see what we can get. Let's select the rectangle tool and draw a square. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a square. And from here, we're going to apply the effect. Also, I'm going to create a new copy so I get, uh, so I'm going to, you know, have the original option as well. Okay, go to the effects, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. So this is the whole effect. This is it. So if you go to the pucker, it makes it more spiky. If you go to the bloat, it, uh, it creates some, uh, you know, it, it, make it, it makes it, it's going to make it more rounded and uh, it's gonna create a nice flower out of this stuff. I'm gonna show you like the multiple options. You know, if you, can go, if you wanna create like a new copy out of this, just press and hold Alt, wait a second, press and hold Alt, drag it, also press Shift so you isolate into um, horizontal, I mean vertical. And we're gonna go back to the options, go here to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select the appearance. This is basically the panel where you can adjust all the effects. You can go back to the effects and uh, adjust it again. So I'm gonna cl click on, here on the uh, pucker and bloat and uh, I'm gonna decrease, let's see. Actually, I'm just gonna go to the opposite direction. I'm gonna create a spark out of this and I'm gonna rotate it once press and hold shift and you rotate it once and it's going to create a nice sparkle. I'm going to put these aside, create a new form. Let's go with the rounded uh, square. So as you can see at this size, it's really rounded. It starts to get like a circle. If I increase it, it's going to get more spiky. I mean, it's going to, going to get less rounded. So I'm going to remain with this uh, option. I'm going to create a new copy apply the effect and let's see what we get so as you can see it's going to make it more spiky on these areas and uh you know it's it just going to bend the straight lines so we're talking so when you have a straight line it is going to make a perfect curvature and if you already have a curvy line that is going to eventually make it like more spiky I'm gonna leave it like this, click OK, and see what we get if we go into the opposite side. I'm gonna go to go back to the effects and let's see. So yeah, which th these areas basically which was rounded, uh, it's gonna create like a less rounded, like more longer effect. I don't like that much, but I'm gonna leave it like this. And let's go to the next shape, which is the circle. Let's see what we can get with the circle. Create a new copy and apply the effect. Okay, so it's gonna create a diamond. Uh, it's gonna be like a spark, but a less edgy spark. Uh, for example, here with the what was that uh, rectangle we created like a so this is like more spiky it's more edgy and this one is like less edgy it's like more uh, refined so yeah uh, you get like different results that is for sure I think I, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna decrease it something like this yeah this looks kind of better so uh, you get similar results, but uh, actually different ones. I'm gonna go to the opposite direction. Same with this is gonna create a flower like here, but uh, it won't bend straight in, you know? You get really different results with these. Let me create a new one. Control C, Control F, rotate it once, press Shift and hold. So what does the Control C, Control F? It creates another copy on the shape. So we got this shape. I'm gonna press Control C and then Control F, and it created another copy right on top. 
or you can go to edit and paste in front. So it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's just gonna paste it in front. If I press Control C, Control V, C is just gonna jump somewhere around on the screen and uh, it won't be that good. So I'm gonna press and hold Shift, rotate, wait, rotate it once, and there you go. We got a new effect. I'm gonna put this here, eventually decrease the size because I got a new option going on. So from this flower, I can go and press shift plus X and it's just going to uh, reverse from fill to stroke. Or you also can press this thing later, little thing like swap fill and stroke. So it's going to swap it and change it. And now you're left with this interesting abstract flower kind of thing. Okay, let's go on. So this is the default of the hexagon. All right. I can decrease the size. Let's see what we can do with the hexagon. I'm gonna create a new copy, effect, pocket and bloat. Again, it's gonna create spikes, not that big of, a, big of a deal. If you go into the opposite direction, it is going to create a nice flower. So the more straight lines you have, the more, more sides you have, it's gonna create like more, uh, you know, it's going to look like more like a flower. Let me show you what happens if you go beyond 100%. So right now we're on 74. I'm going to increase it to a hundred. So this is a hundred percent. As you can see, it goes right straight into the center. And if you go beyond that, it's going to be bad. Like it's going to create some spikes. Uh, it's going to create an abstraction. It's going to go really abstract. Uh, if you like that, if you are into that stuff, then uh, do do it like that. I would prefer to just go to 100%. And the same thing I can do with these also. Let me let me try with uh, with strokes this one. It looks beautiful with strokes. So if I increase the stroke. So yeah, you can uh, you definitely get some really beautiful results. It really depends what you are designing. So I'm going to go and double click on this. I created a new copy, by the way, same way, control C, control F and just double click here on the rotation tool. Usually the default is on reflect tool. So you're going to see this symbol right here, but select the rotation tool, double click on the rotation tool or rotate tool and uh, minus 30 degrees. Uh, this is going to be right for me and decrease the stroke. There you go. So yeah, you, you get in some nice uh, results. You're going to get some nice results. That's for sure. But you really need to go like really creative with this. I'm going to press shift plus X, go to object, expand appearance. So to lose the effect, you need to go to object and uh, go to expand appearance. Okay, and I want to delete the interior part, so I'm going to press Shift plus M or go to the, just a sec, go here to the Shape Builder tool and long press the Alt, press and hold Alt and you just delete the interior parts. There you go. And you're left with some nice flowers. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the next level with uh, with this uh, hexagon. Okay, I'm gonna select the hexagon again. Press and hold Shift plus Alt to create a hexagon, and now press the up arrow on the keyboard. If you press the upper up arrow on the keyboard or the down arrow on the keyboard, it's gonna remove or add more. Uh, sides or edges, you know, however you want to call it. I, I don't even know how much I add. I think I need to add like one more to look balanced. Yes. Okay. This is good. Uh, I'm going to create a new flower. So let's do this again. Check this out. So right now I just created a lot of, uh, this looks really beautiful. Petals. Check this out. This looks really fancy already. 
So yeah, you can basically experiment until you get bored. Uh, you really need to go really creative with it. You can press Shift plus X. Nice. Create another one. Control C, Control F. Rotate it minus thirty degrees. Let me. Why is it like minus minus thirty? Minus thirteen. Yeah, this this one looks better. And it just creates dozens of flowers and interesting forms and shapes. I don't know what you can do with the spikes in the other hand, because I don't find that uh, really creative. Let me go to the opposite side a little. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. So if you don't go really extreme with this, then it might be okay. Uh, you can you can create a nice stroke out of this eventually but uh, you know the more ex the more you experiment with this uh, the more results you get so that's also another option okay um what else i'm thinking to add a new stuff uh, i'm gonna go back with um, hexagon and just decrease the number to three so this is a triangle i want to try it out, try it out let's see what happens with the triangle shift plus x create a new copy and uh what is that there you go so this is the spike oh my god it's gonna look like uh, the batch from the mercedes <laughs> not really because this is like really distorted looks uh, really not like that but yeah, it would be a good idea. Let's go to the opposite direction. Let's see what we get. Uh, no. So I'm going to go to 100% to the max. And it is going to create some weird forms. But you also can actually, you can't. It's not that good of an option. So yeah. i also going to try it out with star. Same thing. I added uh, more edges. So basically, this is the star. If you press and hold Control, you can make this. You, you can make it more spiky or less spiky. See that? So usually, somewhere like this is the default. Somewhere around this, I don't know. It's not correct, but uh, so I'm gonna create a normal star, and I'm gonna create another star with multiple edges. I'm gonna. So just press the up arrow so you add more spikes to it. I'm gonna add another one. Gonna decrease the spikes somewhere around here or here. I don't know. This should be good. Let's decrease the size and see what happens if we apply the effects. So eventually it's going to add like more spikes. You can see right here the spikes. If you go into the opposite direction, it's going to create a weird shape. I don't like this one. Let's go to this one. I'm curious on this. Same thing. Yeah, it looks like a spark. It looks like a spark. If you go to the opposite direction. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, mainly these are some creative stuff that you can make out of these effects. It's a little bit uh, limited, you know, what you can do with the, the pucker and bloat. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, uh, if you want to experiment more and explore what other possibilities are with this thing, then go for it and uh, just send me, you know, on Instagram. Tag yours, I mean, tag me there and I'm going to see like what you did. But anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Check out the other videos and have a good day. Bye-bye.